Hello class, this is Professor Jane Williams, your sociology professor for College of San Mateo. Today I want to talk to you about chapter four. And as you can see about chapter four, we're talking about drugs and alcohol. Here's the issue. You might want to say to yourself, well, this is kind of obvious. Drugs and alcohol are bad for society. And on the surface, it may seem exactly that. But let me ask you a question. How do you respond to that? How should a society respond to that? I'll tell you what has happened here in the United States. I'm sure you all know, we've decided to make at least the drugs part of that illegal. That means against the law, so therefore, once you are caught doing that, you are in the legal system and your life can become very hard to manage at that point. Here's a question for you. Should that be the case? Should that be the case? Now, I'm not going to lobby and say that I think drugs are good for people. I, I don't think they're good. I just think that when people are doing something that are bad for them, something that maybe is not the best, well, not good for their health, should we really be putting them in the legal system? Or should we instead be trying to get them, I don't know, off the drugs if they're addicted? Maybe sending out messages that we as a society do not support this, that rather we feel that this not happen, and so we do not celebrate that kind of behavior. Now, I'm gonna give you some of the reasons why, if you were to ask me personally, I might, I might just lean on the side of legalizing drugs. Now, don't judge me just yet, just let me explain. All the things that we do in our country to keep people away from drugs, off drugs, don't sell drugs, don't have access to drugs, all the things that we do take up an enormous amount of our resources, our time, our attention, even our ability to be the good citizens that we wish everybody would be. Because once you enter the legal system and you get, let's just say a felony for any kind of, of drug action that you have done, you can't vote. You can't take care of your family. You can't hold down a job because now the job, the person who might give you a job would say, have you ever been arrested? And you'd say, yes. So we have effectively taken away, nullified the things that so many people in our country could do. Now you've already heard a little bit about the people that we choose to incarcerate already. So what if I were to tell you that close to 50%, sometimes more, of those people who are incarcerated are there because of drugs. Now, we met, when we made those laws, we were trying to help them, keep them off drugs. Is this a help? Is going to jail and having all the repercussions from going to jail worse than actually, this is something um, unusual to say, actually worse than the addiction itself? Something to think about, huh? When you go through this chapter, check these things out. I gotta add a little something to it. While you're checking them out, check out how that response would be for a symbolic interactionist, say, a functionalist, say, or how somebody might look at it from the conflict perspective when it comes to sociology. Think about this. You're gonna hear a lot of things. You're gonna read a lot of things in your textbook about this, but when it's all said and done, make up your own personal mind about how you feel about these things. And we'll have an opportunity to interact with each other about it again later. I really would like to know what you come up with. 